Hello everyone and welcome again to the channel. This is the Daily Dose and we have more diecast news and updates. Um, I am sorry if I uh, I have been uh, so late in replying to your comments. It's just been uh, I've been so busy uh, the past few weeks and um, I'm still trying to make videos. But again, I'm, I'm really sorry for the late replies, but I'm trying my best. Okay, so let's move on to the update. So yeah, first up, yeah, we have some some uh, mainline updates from Hot Wheels. So this is the the mainline version, not the Super Treasure Hunt version of the Ford uh, RS 2000. So yeah, this looks good, man. To be honest, I love that colorway. Of course, the Super Treasure Hunt. Uh, version is fantastic as well different shades of uh, green for the main lines and uh, for the super treasure hunt so this is still beautiful uh, they have a tesla model 3 right here again looks fantastic looks really basic man to be honest but um, they they did a really good job with this and this is a volvo xc40 don't really collect this casting but seeing this i might uh buy one yeah this looks good to be honest uh, i don't know if this one has like uh solid black windows i hope it doesn't because uh yeah this looks good i love the like the four by four look is this car four by four in real life um yeah it looks awesome next right there we got the Ford GT GT40 again a fantastic car I always like uh, the Ford GT casting especially if this was a, 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 a premium car man that would look more awesome but loving the main lines also so it does have like really good livery uh, to, uh, for this uh, lots of details uh, as you look at that one and I think this is a, cus uh, uh, a custom auto right here um, I'm looking at the exhaust so I think yeah that is a custom auto and this one is fantastic colorway so you got different shades of orange in that one uh, top is orange oh sorry bottom is yellow I thought that was orange yeah, it could pass as orange here there and uh, yeah good looking car right there and next up yeah this car looks fast and uh, this is the c zinger 21z it looks like a super car and uh, just looks amazing so you can see i think the cockpit can only fit in one passenger one one person and that would be just the driver yeah it looks awesome man to be honest i don't know how that performs in the Hot Wheels track, especially on the loop. I think <laughs> that it won't do well on the Hot Wheels uh, tracks uh, because of how low it sits on the ground. And yeah, more updates, more main lines here. We got a, a new 2015 Dodge Charger SRT. I love that. Uh, this will be. This would be a, a really good looking car i i do love the windows right there i love colored windows on some of the cars uh, that one looks good on that particular 2015 dodge srt and uh next right here uh is i think what they call a race punk just correct me if i'm wrong again a weird looking casting but yeah it still looks really good i do love the the, the look um i can't i can't uh, say it i think it's a, a combination of like i don't know man a lamborghini and a lolux <laughs> uh, it looks weird but i think it works next we have a celero gt another recolor of the celero gt right there another like a supercar looking fantasy casting from Hot Wheels and uh, next right here I think I really like this casting man uh, it's underrated I don't know why uh, 
people just leave this in the peg especially from where i live uh, this is the audi sport quattro it is an amazing car always love the audi quattro uh years back yeah this one again really good livery good details got side uh, tampos uh, headlight is also detailed no tail light and uh, brake light tampos though for this but again it does have side and front details already then we have like a new uh, Bugatti right here uh, the white one it's really clean I love this so used to I used to uh, go crazy for this casting back then when uh, uh, it came back I think that was a couple of years back yeah but now not so but I still like this one so got some details yeah front is detailed right there pretty good printing details for that uh, also yeah, if you if, it's hard to see but the the tail lights is also detailed just silver paint on that and the Bugatti logo is also in there and let's look at some new cars also from Tomica so we got uh, the Tomica Premium Unlimited they have uh, a Wanga and Midnight Devil Z coming soon this would be 1320 yen I don't know if this is exactly the same as the Tomica Premium uh, Midnight Devil Z back then that was a couple of years back uh, from the photos I don't see any differences between this and the older one so if you have some any ideas let me know and uh, this is really cool also but I think you know almost like a repeat the MF Ghost Toyota 86 GT yeah that one is an awesome looking car I really like that one a lot they they do have like uh, not really a, a, a main line I forgot what what series that was it's still available in stores here so same same car and uh, this is also really cool a detective Conan RX-7 right there so Tomica has, has been uh, releasing the Tomica Premium Unlimited uh, versions of like older castings if you if you remember or it's just it's just coming out right now the Fast and Furious cars we got the Supra the Skylines uh, the Tomica, the Tomica Premium Unlimited, they're out now uh, at Toys R Us. They're they're kind of expensive at 800 pesos, or close to oh, 18 US dollars. So didn't buy them because I think they're kind of expensive and they're pretty similar to the older uh, Tomica Premiums. And uh, this is a Tomica Premium. Subaru Impreza WRX. This is slightly cheaper than the Tomica Premium Limited. This is 935 yen. It's a great looking car right there. So yeah, all stock look. And I love that to be honest. And we got some Tomica uh, basic cars here. We got the Nissan X-Trail. Two color variants of that one. Uh, the white one is the special color. And it just looks good. We've got the Suzu Elf Track Vehicle. Another really cool casting from Tomica. And I I really like the Isuzu's. I think they're one of the few brands who, who make 164 scale casting of uh, these vehicles. So yeah, that's the update. Tons of cars in the air. Uh, what are your favorite ones? Let me know in the comment section. So I hope you enjoy this one and see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.